YouTubers, Bowfinger here again. Uh, back with some more formulas. Uh, these formulas, um, after reading some of the reviews and, and stuff, uh, they're a little bit confusing because the last ones I included uh, included the buckles. So uh, that may have thrown a couple of people off. These these formulas from now on will have will just be for the finished work only. They will include, um, they will not include any, any loops, any balls, any uh, lanyard knots or other kind of uh, uh, add-ons that you put into your, your piece, okay? They will be just for the finished work. That means for every, every inch that's what your uh, multiplan, your factor will be. All right. So take that into account. So when you use the formula, and you know you're going to add a ball in the loop, add that to your uh, to your piece. Um, I would suggest that you you when you first use this. Add uh, 12 inches, maybe even 18 inches. Uh, I want you guys to be sure to finish your piece, so that way you know whether or not you can uh, um, use the piece. So uh, these are to help get you in, in the ballpark, so you don't cut too much cord. And they're wasting too much. All right, so first one we're going to do will be the fishtail. The second one we're going to do going to be the uh, shark jawbone. Alright. The third one we're going to do is the dragon's tongue. Do not confuse this with a dragon's claw. Completely different uh, type of braiding. The third one I've thrown on is the four strand round braid. I use this one a lot because I tend to make um, bow slings, wrist slings for the uh, for the archers, down at the club, I sell a few down at the pro shop. All right, these are, these are custom made jobs for people. You know, the colors that they want. And a couple of things to do a lot of things for the servicemen. My home Air Force Base is close by, so um, we do that. This piece is the caterpillars feet braid that I've done. I've added. I don't know if you can see that. Some Smuckatelli skulls. Smuckatelli skulls are the best skulls. They're very, very detailed. And they're well worth the money. Um, I've included a campaign ribbon on this one. This one is for Bannock Joe. If you're out there, Bannock Joe, your piece is finished. And it will be in the mail later on. I finished the yoke. I've decorated the yolks with some leather edging. All right, back to the piece. The four strand round braid, I think I just did. The last piece is the Aztec sunbar. If you noticed, on all the other ones, I did not say primary color and secondary color. 
I'll just refer to them as color A and color B because the formula is uh, the same for both colors because they're you know symmetrical and uh, the knots are the same. On this one, however, it's a completely different animal. As you can tell, <coughs> green is used the heaviest. We'll refer to that as the primary color. This one uses about four or four and a half times as much as the secondary color, which is kind of the core. So in this one, green is the primary color and black will be the secondary color, okay? Again, I'm not including any knots, any loops, any balls. This is just for the finished work. Remember that. Alright, that kind of concludes it for this one. I hope you can use these formulas to save on your scrap. Alright, and uh, I'll probably do another one on the snake knot. We'll do that one together so I can show you how I come up with these formulas. Uh, I use a given piece, a given length, usually uh, three feet or four feet. And then uh, I, uh, once I get so far, I'll measure the, dot, the, the drop, how much I cut off, and deduct that from your the total length. All right, it's pretty straightforward math. Some people have asked uh, about uh, this Excel program I got here. All right. That I'll show you how to make. It's it's again pretty straightforward math, you know, yeah. I don't know if people are familiar with the Excel program and using math formulas, it's just really easy to make, and that way you can refer to it later on when you're doing your, your pieces, and this one, my, my piece is normally made for, uh, for making archery wrist slings, it seems to be my, my, uh, my niche there, okay, helps me when I, when I do the whistling so I know how much to cut and then uh, do that okay I'll see you guys next time so hi youtubers hi youtubers who says youtubers Dog is so special. He catches laser beams. One, two, three. Drop the Good boy. Ready? Catch. Ready? Sit. Yeah, you go. Ready? Do it again. Okay. Drop it. It's in the bedroom, behind the bed. Look for it. Bring it here. Sit. Put it in my hand. Give it to me. There you go. Go get it.